Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Weld.com. Today, we're working on something different. This came off of a Kubota B8200 D950 engine. It's a three-cylinder diesel. The reason we're doing this is because we got cracks here on this valve cover, all right? This is cast aluminum. We're basically gonna weld up these three cracks right here, or cracks right here and cracks right here, excuse me. But first, we're gonna clean this and show you all the different preps we have to do to get to the welding process, all right? Let's go ahead and do this, guys. All right, that's all done. We just got done cleaning it with uh, simple grain concentrated. All the grease is all off. So we're gonna take the uh, soda blasting and basically uh, we're gonna take that outside and soda blast all this paint off here because it's gonna weld better and it's gonna be way faster instead of taking a wire weld to it. All right, let's go do this. All right guys, we're done cleaning it. We're gonna take it back inside and rinse it off with water. All right, we got it clean. We're gonna take it over to the sink and go ahead and wash all the baking soda off. And that's about it. We're gonna go ahead and weld it then. key thing is clean. We need cleanliness. Best as we can, that's going to be one of our advantages for welding. Clean, clean, clean. So that's all done. We're going to take a drill bit. I'm using about an eighth inch drill bit. We don't want a big hole or nothing because it's more to weld. So we're going to take a drill bit and see these cracks right here. We're going to find all the cracks here. And the start of the crack, we're going to drill a hole. Then on the other end, we're going to drill the hole. So that crack won't grow anymore. We don't want to drill all the way through there. It's pointless. We just want to go a little bit and stop that crack. All right, looks like we're gonna show you how to fix holes too because I accidentally drilled right through there. But I know a good welder, so we're all good. Tastes like snods berries. I'm gonna say you're high again if you do that. The snods berries taste like snods berries. <laughs> Tastes like snods berries. All right guys, we got this all cleaned out, the holes drilled, and we got the cracks grind out of U groove all the way through. I'm gonna go ahead on, on the Everlast, I'm gonna fire that baby up. What you guys been waiting for? Let's go ahead and do this repair. All right, so I cranked up the cleaning. I run over it a couple times to bring out all the impurities like the oils and grease, whatever's in there. That will give me a better uh, weld later on. So that's what I did. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some filler wire and go run a little bead on there. That's it, that's what cast looks like. All right, as you guys can see, there's oil coming out, out of here. It's all right here. It's gonna be really dirty because it's the diesel engine. The oils are very dirty in the diesels. So right here, you can see a weld we laid. So it's getting hot, I'm gonna let it cool. And this is how basically a cast dirty aluminum welds is right here. 
So we're gonna walk away, let it cool for like 10 minutes. We're gonna fill it with our hands. If it's too hot to touch, we know we gotta keep waiting. All right guys, this ain't a really critical weld. We're just trying to stop the oil from coming out to the top of the valve cover. It's very oily. As you can see, oil's just coming out and you can see the puddle, it's all like frosty and everything. So I'm using 5356. I'm just dabbing in there and just trying to work back and forth and let that uh, clean metal help wash into the dirty uh, aluminum. So it's okay if it comes out like that. It's not a high, it's not a high pressure weld or nothing or high pressure behind it. We're just sealing the uh, oil. So this is normal guys, just keep going with it. As you guys see before, it was all clean in there. As soon as we put heat on there, that oil started bubbling out, coming out to the surface. So we did a little cleaning action there, we did a little pre-run instead of adding filler wire. I couldn't really do it. So we got some of the oil pushed out. We're gonna clean it with some acetone, get rinsed out. Then we're hopefully we'll get like a good clean metal starting, like a 53, 56, like a good little dab started. Then you could basically work off that clean metal and run it all the way down. That's about it. We're gonna let that cool off a little bit. We're gonna jump to the other side. Then we're gonna stop and let the plate cool. I mean, uh, let the part cool for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna start on this clean side. Uh, you getting a good puddle going. I see that. You wanna use your clean metal to your advantage with this. See how it's performing? It's doing good. See it? We're not worried about that frosty hole. Well, don't touch like that. One of the most important things you guys gotta remember is don't get excited and just weld the whole thing out. Cause you will twist up everything and some of the stuff won't fit back together and then it's gotta be remachined. Don't get excited, just walk away for 10 minutes and then come back. We're gonna use a little acetone. We're trying to get all that oil out of there, break it down, wire brush it and we're gonna blow it out. Make sure you wear safety glasses. If you don't, this stuff will get in your eye. It can lead to blindness and burn like crazy. I had it in my eye before. So camera guy, watch out. We're gonna blow a little bit. We're just going to do this a little bit back and forth to help this oil get out of here. All right, see how it's cleaning it? You just repetition, just do it until you get it clean. We might have to weld again, pre-clean with the welding machine one more t couple times until we, till we get it like a, like a nice puddle started. Before you start up welding, you want to make sure this is all completely blow, like completely dry with acetone or it's, you're going to ignite yourself. All right, we're gonna start right here on the clean metal where there's no crack. We're gonna try to get some good metal started and then we're gonna just, just go over this crack and start welding because once you get good clean metal, it's, it gets a lot easier. Remember, it's got oil in it. It's not one of these things where to make it look pretty. You're just trying to seal it up. It's pretty horrible, guys. I mean, it's got, it had diesel oil in it for 30 years from 1980 something more than that 40 years so just gotta keep working we're going we're going to shape the ugliness out with a grinder uh burr bit so don't worry about it guys this is how old cast aluminum is there it is yeah see how clean that is look at it we're doing good now. Yeah, that's money. That's what we want. Yeah. See how it's dirty over there? We're going to keep working on our uh, clean part. Yeah, clean filler wire is going to help us a lot. We'll fill this all up. That's about it, we got a cool now. We've been doing this for a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and weld, weld all this out. Then uh, after that, we're gonna take everything and grind it down and make it look pretty. And uh, there's no really tolerances. We're just grinding it down so it don't look really ugly visually. Uh, it's gonna be ugly weld because uh, it's oily cast aluminum. It's kind of normal with it. So we're gonna go ahead and Go ahead and uh, wet all these up real quick. All 
All right, we got all the cracks covered up and uh, basically all of them stopped. Uh, it's not pretty because of the oil. So we're gonna go ahead and basically uh, get, the dirt, get the Ferg tool right here, put a carbide bit on it, use wax, always use wax so it won't plug up. And we're gonna go ahead and smooth all the ugliness out. And if it needs a little bit more uh, touch-ups, we're gonna touch it up and then re-grind it. Then we'll flip it over to the top and go fix the top. So I'm using the wax for this carbide. The reason I'm using this is I don't want the aluminum plug up in here all the aluminum bits when we're grinding on this. So you basically just want to take this. You don't have to hold it wide open. Just put your finger right under there and just run it on there a little bit. And that's it. I just get it where all, it looks like it's in the, all the pores and everything. All right, we got it all cleaned up. We basically got it kind of formed. We already know what's going on. So we got a little, little things to do. So we're going to uh, pull a little weld right here, pull a little weld right here, pull a little weld right here. Cause when we uh, grind it and we shape it, it's gonna look nice and even there. And we're probably gonna put some weld right, right over there. Oh, right there, excuse me, right there. Then we're gonna sh uh, shape the highs back out. Then we're gonna use another bit and smooth it all out real nice and uh, that's about it for the inside then we'll flip it over to the top and show you guys do the top side um, all right we got all the inside welded up we're going to do a little smoothing out the highs and we're going to do a little fine tuning and, and basically start uh, grinding all the like the crowns and uh, uneven points out and we're going to be basically done with the inside. All right we got this all blended I mean as you guys can see it, it makes a mess always always wear your safety gear I mean I always got my shield on and my earplugs always be safe uh, we got this all blended it's all almost looking like original all right this is the top side of the valve cover so you can see the cracks Yowzer, that's pretty uh, good penetration there. So we're gonna take a drill bit, stop all the cracks up here, well, what we can see, then we're gonna go ahead and load it up. I'm so excited. I'm just sitting here controlling the RPMs with my finger, my index under here. So don't run it wide open. You want to take your time on top because everyone's going to see this. That's it. Remember, guys, this is non-critical. It's not a nothing fit in tolerance. It's just a stud hole. The stud goes through there. What's the most important is make sure this is nice and level. See where this indention is? It's from a copper, the copper crush ring. That's the most important part. That's what's going to do the sealing when you put your nut on there and to hold this valve cover down. That's the most important important part is this. That's it. All right. All right. I'm gonna finish the rest of these out. Then I'll show you guys the uh, finished product when it's done. All right, guys, girls, there it is when it's, it's basically done. Uh, there's cracks everywhere, going everywhere. So if you guys ever welded on a diesel, you know, diesel oil, it's very dirty when you're checking it. And when it's brand new, after you run it for like, I don't know, 30 hours, the oil is already dirty, really bad. If you guys ever welded on old Harley Davidson cases from the 20s and 30s and piece them back together, that's how hard this was actually. There's so much oil that's coming out 
you had to keep grinding the weld back down come and do it, repeating it like 20 or 30 times. I had to keep repeating that over and over until you get a good base. You have to get a good base started. All right, if you guys don't have a good base, it just will keep cracking on you guys, all right? The good thing is always keep going over and over. I mean, I was frustrated with this, but I got through it and everything, reshaped it. This is pretty good for me, all right? If I didn't have these grinders, I couldn't do it, guys, today, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Man Cub. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Make every weld better than your last. Oh, wait, that's Redbeard. Learning is key, guys, all right? Always learn. I learned a lot today. Thank you for watching.